welcome. What I like to do is kind of go over what is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. And um, if you kind of remember when we were talking about conditional statements, we talked about you know conditional was an if-then statement, right? And the um, if p then q. And the converse would have been if q then p. So I'm going to kind of use some notation a little bit to kind of represent the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem. pretty much states if you have a right triangle, OK? If you have a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, obviously, I'm just representing a random uh, triangle with a, b, and c as the legs. So I could say a, b, and c. But the main important thing of the um, Pythagorean theorem is if you have a right triangle, you have to have a right triangle to use Pythagorean theorem. When you have a right triangle, then the sum of the leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So the converse would simply be swapping our p and our q, our hypothesis and our conclusion. So that would be our p and that would be our q. So the converse simply states if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then you have a right triangle. So sometimes we might be asking, um, you know, is this triangle a right triangle? Does it contain a right angle? Well, to do that, we can test the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if that equals, if that is true, then we know we have a right triangle. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Thanks.